welcome back to Bachi's Corner. We're in Bachi's Kitchen, my kitchen, for another flash food haul. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what the final cost was, but I will link the receipt within the video. <clears throat> so let's start off with, I got a great deal. It's 50% off of these burgers. Um, some of them are 90, 10, 92, 8, and 8, I think, um, let's see, that one was 90, 10. And this one is 85, 15. These are all half price. The drawback is, I'm going to cook them up all today because the best by date is tomorrow. Yes, best by day, you can kind of stretch an extra day, but I don't want to. So this one is a 90-10 as well. Original price is like just under $10. So these are, I purchased the, oh wow, this one, this one, I don't know why. Originally was $15.25. I will have to look on the receipt what I paid for it. I don't think I would have paid like seven dollars for this. That would be about half. Seven fifty would be about half. I don't believe I paid that. If I did, all right, I'm bad. But I think it was in the four dollars. I'll it'll be in the in the receipt. So now my curiosity is peaked. So I've got that one and I got this one. So these are all, and this one is 90 10. So I got four packs of four. Oh, this one has more than four. This one has six. I see three on each side. So this one has six. Um, so that's what I'm gonna cook up today. I wanna cook it up and put it in the freezer. Now my, oh, let me just get rid of this. There we go. So my $5 veggie bag, I've got the Campari uh, tomatoes. I love these. These are so good. These are kind of small. They're usually bigger than this, but these look in mint condition. So these are really good. I got more tomatoes. I haven't really even looked in here. I only went according to what I saw on the app. So I only saw the top of it, which were these tomatoes, and I needed it for my salad. So I've got more. Oh. Okay, so I have four slicing tomatoes right here. And and this little packet. So there we go. I have a cucumber. It feels slightly soft, but I think it'll be good. A couple of white onions. A uh, sweet potato. And I have mentioned in my last video, I really don't like sweet potatoes. And I still have a big one. Let me get it. Let me get it. I still have it. Okay, I still have this one from my last one, which is maybe a month ago, and still holding up in the refrigerator. But what I'm going to do, I'm gonna slice this up for my Lucy, my dog. I'm gonna dehydrate these. You know how expensive sweet potato treats for dogs are? It's ridiculous. I'd rather just dehydrate these. So I'll bring you along for that as well. And, uh, a regular potato. Right, I think this is a russet. I'm not sure. And then again, dumping out all these red potatoes. And I still have some from my last haul. Again, about a month ago. Um, and I will. I still have it in my fridge. So let me get it. So. Here we have it. I can combine the bowl. There we go. These look better than these I've had in the refrigerator. And they're a little soft, but you know what? 
I'm going to end up probably making mashed potatoes out of these and throwing them in the freezer. So I'll do the mashed potatoes more than likely in the Instant Pot. Just throw everything in there because I don't need to really peel these. I'll wash them very well, but I don't need to peel them. So I'll throw all these in the Instant Pot and we'll do mashed potatoes, my sweet potatoes. I will dehydrate for the dog. And this, not sure quite yet. My onions, of course, regular cooking, my salads, whatever, you know, whatever I need it for. And my tomatoes, my cucumber, and of course, all my hamburger patties. So I think I made out pretty good. I believe this whole thing, well, let's take away these other potatoes, okay? I think this whole thing came out to under $30. And I'll have the exact amount. You'll see it on the receipt. So let's get going. Let's get the cooking. Okay, so I've got my pans heating up on medium high. I'm going to use some avocado oil just to put a little bit, like a tablespoon in each pan, just so that the burgers release a little bit easier. I'm going to spread it around. I think I'm going to cook these up to be maybe a medium so that when we take them out of the freezer to heat up in the microwave, um, they will be, they won't overcook or dry out anymore, you know, so it gives you a little leeway on reheating. I have a lot of patties to cook. I will try not to, I will try to make this as painless as possible. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use a glove to handle these. Ordinarily, I like to season on both sides, but I forgot on, on this one, so I will take care of that for the next batch. I'm going to do it right in the pack. I'm going to just go in with the salt. I'm not left-handed, so it's a little difficult, but pepper. Next one. this one over. Okay, I hope that's better for you. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and salt
pepper. So I want to say the reason I'm cooking all of these up now for the freezer, we can reheat them. We don't really eat burgers on a bun, per se. Like, I have a son that eats ground beef with rice and a veggie for, like, his weekly thing. Um, so that's, the, that's another reason. That... I'm thinking this will be perfect for my Big Mac salad. So instead of cooking up ground beef, why not cook up a patty, take it out of the freezer, chop it up into little pieces, and throw it into my salad. So there's multiple things you can use a patty for, which is much easier to deal with than ground beef. So. This is why I'm cooking all of them up for the freezer, and then you take them out, you microwave them, and they're good to go. So I'll just bring you back as these continue, and I won't I won't keep you here watching this entire thing cooking, um, batch after batch after batch. Okay, time to flip. So they're getting a lot of liquid in here and I want them to char and not boil. So let me just get some of this extra liquid out or fat or whatever it may be. get like a medium medium well so I want to see what these are at it should be between 140 145 for a medium so that's what I would be aiming for is one for uh, probably a 145 we're getting there 140 I believe this is the first one I put down so yeah, 144. Yep, we're there. 145. These are in the 130. So these need a few more minutes. This one's going to need more time. This is the last one I put in here. So this one's ready to come off. So let me put this. Oh my goodness. We have a pile on. Okay, 
I'm going to let that cool down and then I will package it up for the freezer and we can use them for a burger salad or Big Mac salad or um, ground beef with rice and veggies or even a burger on a bun. So I'll bring you back for, uh, for what I'm doing next. Okay, let's meal prep my son's meals for the week. Um, he does the burger or ground beef with rice. Typically doesn't do veggies, but me being a mom, <laughs> I'm adding veggies. So I'm going to do the, the rice with the burger and he can chop up the burger into the rice himself. And I'm going to add the green beans from last year, my garden green beans. So you can see how the color held up. I use a zinc vitamin when I can these up just to retain the color. So it's a beautiful green color. So let's get to prepping. So the first thing I want to do is open up my jar of green beans. And um, I'm gonna put I'm gonna drain them and rinse them. And let me just try one for ha ha's. Oh my god, that tastes like the garden. That is so good. I did not put salt. I did not salt this because I wanted the green bean flavor to come out of it. And this is so good. I rather salt it when I when I'm eating it than salt it in the jar. So I did not salt. So let's drain this and we'll come back. So I drained the green beans. I did not rinse them because the flavor is really good. I don't want to rinse those. I'm going to leave them as is. So the rice is done. We are going to unplug it and we're going to start prepping. So let's get to it. to say sometimes it is just so much easier to use your hand so I'm gloved up that is really good let me season this up before I add the burger so that he all he has to do is chop up the burger I'm going to season it with my Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse seasoning and some salt and pepper. This is my favorite. I love that on everything. So let's just do some salt. Because I did not salt when I canned the beans up. So we are salting pepper. and the buttery steakhouse seasoning. There, perfect. So now we're gonna do the burger. And honestly, there's no guessing involved. You don't have to weigh anything. You know a burger is a burger. So, there we have it. The rest, we're going to freeze. And I'll bring you back for that. But in the meantime, let's get this all covered up. Okay, let's do some vacuum sealing.
All right. So the burgers are all vacuum sealed and ready for the freezer. And let me pull out my dehydrator so we can do the sweet potatoes for my Lucy. So I'm gonna slice these up for the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it a diagonal. I'm gonna try not to do it too thin, and I'm gonna try not to do it too thick. I think this is perfect. If I can get them all like that, that'll, that'll work out good. I'm going to set this for fruits and vegetables, so that's 135 degrees, and it's already there, so it's probably from the last time I made these uh, sweet potato treats for my dog. So I will come back and check on it in about eight hours to see where we're at, and I'll bring you back when we're done. Okay, so we're about eight hours into this. Let me unplug it and see what how this looks here. Oh, that's really good. Feels like the same texture that you find in the um, dog treats. So I'm just gonna let this cool down. Oh, this one is crunchy. I'm gonna let this cool down, then I'm gonna bag it up. Okay, so these have cooled down, and I'm going to just fill them all up. And Lucy will be all set for a while here. Have you purchased these from the store? Oh my goodness, gee, they're expensive. I think I've paid it upwards of like $14.99 or $13.99 for a bag maybe slightly smaller than this bag. So this will save me a lot of money in that aspect. Because now I won't be buying it. I have it. Thank you once again for joining me in Bobchi's Corner in my kitchen. So until next time, hope to see you soon.